Greetings this morning. It is February 22nd. My name is Ken Pepin. I'm the rector here at St. Luke's Episcopal Church in Fairport, New York. Throughout this month, we are focused on Black History Month, and in doing so, we have um, decided to focus in on Nelson Mandela uh, and his work that was done um, called Mandela's Way. It's a uh, Lessons About Life, Love, and Courage by Richard Stingle. So let us pray this morning, opening our hearts to God's grace. God is spirit, and those who worship must worship in spirit and truth. O God, let our mouths proclaim your praise and your glory all the day long. Praise to the holy and undivided trinity, one God as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Our psalm this morning is Psalm 121. I lift my eyes to the hills. From where is my help to come? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. He will not let your foot be moved, and he who watches over you will not fall asleep. Behold, he who keeps the watch over Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord himself watches over you. The Lord is at your shade, at your right hand, so that the sun shall not strike you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve you from all evil. It is he who shall keep you safe. The Lord shall watch over your going out and your coming in from this time forth forevermore. So we take this time to reflect on these words and on Mandela's life. One of his teachings was to honor the long game. When we think about that in our life, you know, sometimes we, we arrive at those moments in time of crisis when we think, you know, this is it, you know, this is the end. Um, nothing will ever be the same again. Our whole life is ruined and, and you know, all is, is for naught. And then there's other moments of our life journey where we um, embrace success and things are going well and we just assume, well, this is going to be this way forever. Well, there's those of us who've lived life long enough to realize the ebbs and flows of life, that each day is a new day, and each day brings with it a set of challenges its own and um, a set of opportunities as well. Um, so to measure one's life, one's happiness, uh, one needs to rec recognize or, or consider uh, no one really can make that estimation until one considers the actual end. Um, so each of our lives need to uh, go as if each day was our last and we live with a sense of certainty and, and a sense of comfort knowing that our God is, is with us through it all. Um, even in those, those pitfalls of life that, that is the God is the beginning and the end. Um, the Alpha and the Omega, um, and for that we, we give glory and praise to God. And Mandela's way of acknowledging that in his own life, of his sufferings and his glories, um, you know, one could, could estimate, having reached his end, that uh, he led, he led a, a very happy life even with all the suffering involved. So let us open ourselves to prayer for one another, acknowledging God's eternal presence in our life. We pray for people of faith this day for unity, we pray for our world, for peace. We pray for 
people in leadership, civilly as well in religious circles, that we may always seek to know and to be uh, in the presence of God. We pray for all who hold authority throughout our nations and the world. We pray for justice and peace, for compassion for those who suffer from any grief or trouble, that they might be delivered from their distress. We ask that you give to the departed eternal rest, that the light perpetual might shine upon them. We pray for our own needs, for others, especially those who've asked us to pray for them, to, that we share, they asked us to share uh, their needs and hurts and, and desires that we've been entrusted with those prayers and that we fulfill them by, by again, opening ourselves uh, more closely to our God. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. May God's blessing fill you this day, nourish and strengthen you, and especially in these wintry months, uh, that you might know always that God is with you through the thick and the thin. He is there by your side. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Blessings. Have a good day.